subscribe to today's legging video. I wanted to do a comparison whether it's worth the money to spend more on leggings or if it really even makes a difference. So I am testing out two brands, one on the more expensive side and then one on the cheaper side that I found on Amazon. I am testing out each company's like little like light with a pattern so that would be like equal. And then I tested out, or testing out, two dark ones from each of them as well. So I got Zaya leggings and I got Amazon leggings. So the Amazon ones go for $29.99, but that's in US, so that's about $40 Canadian. And then on the other hand, I have two pairs of leggings from Zaya. So these ones were $106, and then these ones were $100. So I'm just so curious, so I'm gonna test out several categories. I'm gonna try the waistband, the compression, whether they're squat proof, and then I'm gonna do the jump test. So if you're super interested in the results, because I actually am, thank you for watching. Guys, I'm sweating to death, so I really hope you appreciate this video. Like this video just because I'm sweating to death, and I'm trying to avoid garden snakes because I'm scared of those. Gotta do it for the leggings. I'm officially done from sweating to death outside trying these on and I want to give you my rating of each category. So category number one is going to be the waistband. So the first ones that I tried on were the cheaper version, the dark pair, and honestly the waistband, it's tight but you know that it will loosen up as you work out and sweat. So for that reason I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. I still like it, I still feel like it's tight but it's like it's not the best ever, you know? So that's that one. The next pair that I tried on were the other Amazon ones, but they were the lighter color. So for these ones, they aren't really compressive at all. I find they're very soft. They're so, so comfortable to wear like around the house or just like lounging around, but I wouldn't expect to like it suck me in or anything like that. So for that reason, I'm gonna give these a six out of 10, I believe. Yeah, six out of 10. So these ones are super compressive. So like for the waistband, I would give this like, I'm gonna say a nine out of 10, uh, just because it's not the compression I like. It's kind of compressive everywhere. So for some people, like that's their dream and they love it. Um, I did get a size, okay, no, it is true to size. They're six to eight. So uh, yeah, I think these are just generally compressive. I've had a few of these and they stay this way. So like this is how they come. So you can size up if like, if you're smarter than me, you know? And the last pair for compression and waistband, I'm gonna give these, mm, honestly, it's not very compressive. Like I love these leggings and I think they're cute, but they're not compressive. So I'm gonna say like a six, a six out of 10. Yeah, six out of 10 for compression, but they're so freaking cute. Like, look at those, look at that. It gives me like Victoria's Secret vibes. I don't know, anyways. So the next category I'm gonna rate is how squat proof they were. So the first pair of the dark leggings, I'm gonna actually give them an eight out of 10 because I, I find that I never really see my underwear. I do find if I wear really bright colors, I will be able to see them, but in the gym, you don't. In the broad daylight, in the sunshine, bending over, then yes. So they can't be like a perfect score, but that's what I'd give those ones. Uh, the next pair, I would probably give them like a four because they're not very like squat proof they are cute though and that's the important part but yeah if you're wearing like colorful underwear you're gonna see them it, you're gonna also see like the shape of the underwear but if you do wear nude underwear or go commando like myself you won't see them so you won't see anything which is good for the white ones i'm actually going to give them a nine out of ten they have actually surprised me a lot uh, you can't really tell the shape of the underwear and just like the way the sparkles are at the top like at your butt and they're very condensed you can't see anything i've tried like really intense underwear and all that stuff but i'm like very surprised especially for white ones so very cute and yeah i'm just overly impressed with the fact that you can't see the underwear lines as much as other leggings so yeah nine out of ten and the final black pair i'm actually not gonna rate them as well as I thought I would. I'm going to give them a six out of 10, just because not the fact that you can see the color necessarily through, but you can see every detail of your underwear. And I don't like that. I'd rather them like a little thicker in those areas. So the band itself is thick, but then past the band where your stomach is and where underwear would be, um, you can see like every detail. So that's just like my own personal like pet peeve. But other than that, you can't necessarily see the color. So that's my rating. 
So the next test is the jump test. So I just wanted to see if they would fall down. So the first pair of the black ones, they do move a lot. I'm not going to lie. So I would probably give them like a 5 out of 10. Yeah, 5 out of 10 for the ability to stay up there. And same with these ones as well. They're probably worse. They're probably a 4 out of 10. They always fall down. And they're just like one of those ones that eventually just like keep going down and down and down. But still cute. I get it. But for the gym, you won't want that, especially if you're like doing burpees and things like that. You don't have to worry about your leggings. Uh, so I'd actually give the Zaya ones a 9 out of 10. They were so good. And again, they're just because they're just a little too compressive. So they stay where they're supposed to. But like, I almost wanted them a little bit higher personally. But the black ones, I would actually give a 10 out of 10. They stayed in place. They were high waisted, super cute. And I just like that they stayed exactly in place. So it'd be perfect for doing those burpees or things at the gym. So overall, I think the ones that stay up and stay in place and are squat proof are obviously made for the gym and they're good for the gym. And the ones that aren't are still good for lounge. But I think that's the overall difference that I've like learned from this video is mostly that certain ones are good for the gym, certain ones aren't. That doesn't make the legging like better or worse necessarily. It's just more like what's your lifestyle. If you never work out, then like you might as well spend $40 versus $100 but that's just like my own opinion. But for someone that is like very active and whatever, it is worth it for me to spend that money because if I only bought $40 leggings and they all just fell down and weren't squat proof, I'll be pretty sad, you know? So. Okay guys, so that concludes the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I just absolutely love uploading videos. So like this video if you enjoyed it, then it lets me know and I can do more of them. In the meantime, I will see you in my next video.